Welcome back, friends. My buddies Craig and Barbara over at Texas Hikeholics tagged me on this little five favorite backpacking items video, and I was thinking about this for a while anyway, so I kind of already had it in my mind what I was gonna what I was gonna talk about on this. But there's a ton of different stuff that I consider my favorites. But uh, you know, obviously my my ULA uh, on 2.0 right now has got to be my favorite piece of gear. That backpack is just great. But you know outside of backpacks and tents and your favorite hiking boots and you know your sleeping bag you know outside of all those things uh, the more interesting stuff are the smaller things that people carry and I carry quite a bit of smaller <laughs> neat little stuff it's hard for me to say these are my five favorites so these are ones that I really enjoy I've got some things that I just flat won't leave home without probably about ten of them but we'll try to narrow it down to, to five or six uh, the first thing that I really enjoy is my Tokes Titanium cook kit here that I made. And I've made several different cook kits over the years, but this one I really like. This is my 600 ml pot, and then inside that I've got a 550 ml pot, and it's all held together by this Ranger band. People are gonna say, hey, where you get those Ranger bands? Well, just go to Amazon or eBay and Google Ranger bands and buy you a variety pack, uh, different sizes. They're cheap, and they got a 1,001 uses, and I really like them. Now, if I'm going out, you know, uh, for a few days, you know, I might carry this this bigger cook kit here, and uh, if I'm going to do more cooking than just maybe boiling water, that way I can have I have two pots and I like it. But if I'm just going out on an overnighter or even just a just a little day trip, I can just uh, slim this little baby down to just a little small cook kit here, uh, my 550 ml pot. Uh, I like the toke stuff, it's got the graduation marks on it, but I can carry my fuel canister, my stove, my little mini Beck lighter, my foldable spork, all right in here. And I've got it in one little place, once again, held together by a ranger band. If I need to expand it, and I wanna cook bigger meals or something like that, I can even carry a toke titanium bowl with me, you know, if I want to. This all nest real nice and neat, all inside this one kit, and that's why I like it. I'll link, a, I'll link a video below to show you how I put all this together, but it came together really well after a lot of thought, and, and I really, really enjoy this kit. Now, the next item that I really enjoy, also, still continue to enjoy, it's actually part of my cook kit, is this uh, BRS 3000T titanium stove. If you follow any of the uh, through hiker uh, forums or anything, you're gonna see this thing. Uh, it's been showing up for the last couple years on there quite a bit. Uh, people are just thinking the Pocket Rocket, uh, although a great stove, which I own one of those too, the MSR Pocket Rocket, is great. It's a little heavier, a little bulkier. But this thing here, you know, it weighs dang near nothing. And you can still buy these for $14 to $18 on Amazon with free shipping. Uh, they've been holding up well on on the through hike so that's a that's a good test bed out there but you know and if something happens to you you know you just throw the thing away and buy you another one it's hard to beat for fourteen dollars and that's my uh, BRS 3000 T titanium stove the next thing is my Dutchware ass pad and what's great about this it weighs 0.7 ounces and it weighs, I'm sorry, and it cost $6.75 at Dutchware.com. Now, you can see how nice and neat it folds up. Uh, so it's great to carry in your day pack too. And uh, it comes in high vis blue now, which I like a lot better because you can see just looking at this scenery that we have here, you know, you could lay this thing down and you might forget that you left it somewhere. But $6.70 and weighs almost nothing, folds up real nice from Dutchware. I like it, and uh, I think put it to use right now. But, if she who must be obeyed is not with me, I get some of her stuff instead, and that's the Thermarest Z Seat, and it only weighs two ounces. It cost about 15 bucks, but it's a lot nicer. It's bigger, it's thicker, it's heavier, and it makes a great kneeling pad if you're rolling up your you know, your uh, sleeping mat, sleeping bag, tent, whatever, makes a great kneeling pad too. So if you have the room to take this, I would recommend this one. 
The next thing is my K-Bar Folding Hunter Knife. I've had this knife for about three years. I really, really like it. It doesn't weigh much at all. I like the high-vis blue that come in high-vis orange and some other colors too. Uh, the blade design is a is great for slicing. You can use it for all sorts of camp uh, camp uh, task, um, cutting up your summer sausage, your cheese. If you need to make some tent steaks or something like that, some feather sticks, you can do it with this. It's a lock back design. It does have a belt clip, and you can uh, change it if you're a lefty or a righty, or if you don't want it on there at all, and you just want to carry it in your pocket. Just take the belt clip off and uh, it's lightweight so you won't even know that you have it but this is my go-to knife anytime i go out on a hike and that's the k-bar folding hunter 1995 check it out on amazon last but not least if any of you watch my videos you know i'm a diy guy and a uh, piece of tyvek that's one of my favorite things I, I always stuff it in my in my bag even if i'm out on a mountain bike uh, trip and uh, I'll put it in my backpack on my mountain bike. This piece here is a little larger piece that's left over from a footprint that I made for one of my tents. And uh, I carry this one anytime that I pack a tent this size because I also use this as kind of a footprint in my vestibule. You know, if it's, it's wet or muddy or, or whatever, I just lay this down and put my boots out on it. Works really good. Then when you're ready to pack up, you just kind of shake it out. Dirt doesn't stick to it, it's waterproof, so it works pretty good. This one is cut in uh, a length that I can also wear this as a rain skirt if I want to. So it's versatile in, in that way. And on day hikes, I just carry a little smaller piece in my day hike bag. And uh, if I want to stop for lunch or something like that, instead of throwing, you know, digging into my pack, throwing stuff out on the ground, maybe where it's wet or just dirty or whatever. I throw out the piece of Tyvek first because I keep it in the outer pocket in my uh, on my backpack and I lay things out on this rather than the ground. Works out pretty good. So piece of Tyvek, cheap, works great. I got a bunch of other stuff that, that are really favorites of mine, my Diddy bag. I mean, I, I, still love, I love my Diddy bag and all the little things that I carry in there in case I break something or somebody needs something. Uh, my little Streamlight single cell flashlight. I, I flight won't go anywhere without that thing. So I got a lot of favorites, but narrowing it down, that's kind of where we are here. So uh, I hope you picked up something from this and I always like to watch these things and see what other people's favorite items are too. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass this football off to Cameron over at Cameron's Ultralight Backpacking. He's another Texas boy. And so we'll see what kind of items he comes up with. So until next time, you guys be safe. And we hope to see you out on the trail. Adios. But I'm always interested in the, the smaller things and the other items that other people carry. And that's kind of what I put together for you here. I've got a lot more than five favorite items. I don't mind telling you. But these are some that I really enjoy. And I typically don't leave home without them. And, uh... Hey! Knock it off! Trying to work here. Anyway... I think they're just waiting for me to uh, pass out so they can pick up my cold dead body. But let's start off with my cook kit.